Hello! This video is about the song Shelter in Place and it was written by a music teacher friend of mine and we're going to make a big composition with it. Very similar to how we did Pumpkin Stew back in October in first, second, and or third grade. Um, this process is going to involve some things that first graders haven't learned yet and some things that third graders are going to be like, oh my gosh, that's so simple. I know that. Uh, and that's okay. Just stick with me. I'm going to tell you how to cater it to your particular needs as a musician. So let's start by listening to the song. Would you tap the steady beat in your hand with your other hand, please, while you listen to me sing the song? Here we go. Shelter in place, stay safe at home. What will you do with your days? Shelter in place, stay safe at home. Sing as you learn and you play. Now let's make sure we know what all those words mean. So shelter means to seek shelter or covering. So if you're outside playing and it starts raining really hard, you might run onto your porch and the roof will be your shelter. Or if you're outside playing in the snow and you get cold, you might build an igloo. That would provide shelter. I see a lot of baby chicks and baby birds taking shelter under their mama's wing. And their little peek out. Okay, that's all taking shelter. In place means where you are. So don't everyone run to Alaska to build an igloo right now. That's not sheltering in place. Shelter where you're at. And stay safe at home. Now, for some of you, you are only hanging out with the people that live in your house. Others of you are hanging out with your house people, but also you go see your grandparents, and that's okay. Some of you haven't seen your grandparents in a while. I haven't. And it makes me sad. But... Staying safe at home means in your circle. All right, what will you do with your days? We're going to talk about that after we learn the song. Shelter in place. Stay safe at home. Sing while as you learn and you play. Your job is to play. That is the work of a child. So don't worry. When you're playing, you're learning. And when you're learning, you're playing. It's great. I love it. Okay. So would you be my echo, please? Shelter in place. Stay safe at home. What will you do with your days? Shelter in place. Stay safe at home. Sing as you learn and you play. Very nice. Let's do some soul fish. So, so, la, so, your turn. Good. Do, do, re, mi. So, so, la, so, so. So, mi, do. Mi, 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 re, re. Mi, re, do. Thank you. I'm going, to, I'm going to use these mallets to accompany us. I'm going to play half notes on the xylophone. If you would like to play half notes on your legs, you can, or you may just sing along. Stay safe. 
safe at home. Sing while you work and you play. Now let's talk about the form of this song. There are three sections. The first section is the song. The last section is the song. Notice they are blue triangles. In the middle, we have a green circle. It is a different shape and a different color because we're not singing the middle. We're going to speak the middle. It's going to be a rhythm B section. A, B, A form. All right, so let's talk about rhythm. Uh, quick review. This means there is one sound. Typically, we say the rhythm syllable, ta. If there's two stems, then we know they fit in the same beat, and we say ta, ti. All right, this is an easy, easy C rest, and this is worth two beats, and we say ta, okay? All right, let's quick review, here we go. Please clap and say, ready, go. Did you say ta, ti, ta, ti, ta, ta? Good. And we know we can go upside down. Doesn't matter which direction the stems go. The rhythm of the stem stays the same. So let's read this one. Ready, go. Did you say ta, ta? Ta, ti, ta, ti. Good. All right. Now, that's rhythm. If we're going to put our stems on a staff and give them pitches, then we add note heads. So sometimes you will see note heads on your stems. Doesn't mean anything, really. Just another way to have the music written down. Would you say this and clap it on rhythm syllables? Ready, go. Did you say ta, ta, ti, ta? Good. Just for fun, upside down. Ready, go. Did you say ta, ta, ti, ta? Good. Glad. All right. Now, we have done building blocks in the past. I don't know if you remember, we had these cards like peach. Grapes, apple, okay, and we would manipulate those. And this is where you can go a couple different directions. We are creating the B section or the different speech section right now. Now, the simplest way to do it is to get a piece of paper and make a chart. All right, so we're going to do one syllable words over here. Those would match the ta sound. And two syllable words over here, and that would match the ta ti sound. And if you remember back in October when we were making our pumpkin stew, we would choose things that had one or two syllables to put in our pumpkin stew. We put boogers and dirt in our pumpkin stew, and we checked the number of syllables by tapping our chin onto our hand, okay? For time's sake, I went ahead and brainstormed words. In the one syllable, I have read, run, nap, and games. And in the two syllable, I have play ball, jump rope, sleeping, and FaceTime. And you can make your lists as long as you want and then choose four of your favorites. And you're gonna plug them into the four heartbeats of your B section. If you can't choose just four, then you can put eight, or you could put 12, or you could put 16, you choose. Another way you could do it is you could say your four, and then everyone else can echo you. And then your mom can say her four, and then everyone else can echo hers. And you can do that with as many people as you want to create your B section. All right, now, the more advanced way is going to go in the opposite. I've attached this cube as a visual aid. You can print it out, fold it up, okay? If you don't have a printer, you can just look at it and copy them down on index cards and like play, pick a card, any card, 
and draw that or just rearrange them. Okay, so on here we have ta ta, ta rest, ta ti ta, ta 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 ti. And so you're gonna pick four sides, which will end up with eight heartbeats. And then after you've picked your rhythm, you're gonna put words to it. I want to sleep. Sleeping is my favorite. Okay, so do you see how I just set some text to match the rhythm? And then still it needs to be eight beats long or 16 beats long or 32 beats long in order to make a musically logical feeling, uh, natural feeling song. So here's your final form. Sing. Shelter in place, stay safe at home. What will you do with your days? Shelter in place, stay safe at home. Sing while you learn and you play. Read, play ball, jump rope, run. Sleeping, nap, FaceTime games. I will sleep all day. Sheltering is no fun. I will sleep and nap all day. Play games with my family. Yay! Shelter in place. Stay safe at home. Sit. What will you do with your day? Shelter in place. Stay safe at home, sing while you work and you play. And that is a jumping off point. You can take this piece wherever you want to go with it. You can turn your B section into body percussion. If you want to play it on the black keys on a piano, you can. If you want to clap and say it, and then pat and say it and do the same four words four different times. So use all four levels of body percussion. You can do that. There's so much you could do with this. All right, please. I miss seeing your face. You keep watching videos of me. It's your turn. Make me a video or take a picture of however you want to spend your days while we are sheltering in place and staying safe at home. I miss you. I look forward to seeing your musical compositions.